everyone, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com. Watch and learn how to easily butterfly lobster tails and prepare some juicy and flavorful broiled lobster. That lemon butter sauce is amazing. You'll need four lobster tails, about five ounces each, and a pair of kitchen shears. Cut through the top of the shell, snipping through the shell and top portion of the meat as you go. Stop at the base of the tail. Then flip it over to the see-through side and crack the ribs using both thumbs down the center. This helps to open up the shell. Remove and discard the vein if you see one. Lift up the meat from the shell, keeping it attached at the base. Then press together the shell underneath and set the lobster meat back over the top and open it up to butterfly the tails. This is a great time to preheat your oven to broil on high heat while making the marinade. In a small mixing bowl, combine one tablespoon of freshly chopped parsley and two pressed garlic cloves. Add one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and a pinch of black pepper. Next, add one and a half tablespoons of fresh lemon juice and be sure to use fresh. It makes all the difference. Finally, add one and a half tablespoons of olive oil and stir to combine. You'll fall in love with this marinade. It tastes and smells so good. Spoon it evenly over the lobster tails, then dot the tops with two tablespoons of unsalted butter. Place the pan under the preheated oven broiler and broil for 10 to 11 minutes or according to the lobster tail size chart that I'll link in the notes. Finished lobster should be white in the center and register at least 145 degrees Fahrenheit on an instant read thermometer. Transfer them to a serving platter, then quickly make your butter sauce. Pour the lobster tail drippings into a small saucepan over medium heat. Add two tablespoons of butter and as soon as it reaches a simmer, take it off the heat. Oh yes, <laughs> I am so giddy right now. <laughs> oh, this sauce smells so good. And to make it just a little bit fancier for a special occasion, I do like to dress up the lobster tails with a little bit of fresh parsley and of course lemon wedges because it's so good to squeeze a little extra lemon juice over the top as you serve. Oh wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't believe this is my job. <laughs> I'm working here, people. <laughs> All right, and then I like to drizzle this lemon butter sauce generously over every lobster tail because woo-hoo-hoo, hubba hubba. <laughs> Yum, this adds so much amazing flavor. Don't skip the sauce. It's delicious. Okay, and now the moment of truth. <laughs> <laughs> the taste test, of course. We can't not do a taste test, it's lobster. Alrighty. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> okay, time for a bite. Extra sauce, because yes. <laughs> Mm. 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 Excuse me while I pass out. <laughs> this is so delicious, wow. My absolute favorite way to make lobster. You can really taste that fresh pop of lemon juice and that sauce, I'm telling you guys, you're gonna love this. If you enjoyed this video, give me a great big thumbs up below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time. If you need an amazing dessert to go with your very special dinner, check out these recipes right over here and click below to subscribe and make sure when you do, you click that little bell icon. That'll make sure you never miss another one of our recipes.